In this video, we are going to talk about icons in Notion. So the first question is perhaps, what are icons? Well, icons are pictograms. And with that term, we understand symbols that represent something. And that something can be, for example, a megaphone. And the megaphone normally stands for marketing, for advertisement, and uh, for shout out related terms in general. Um, yeah, here we have my favorite icon, it's a light bulb. And the light bulb, normally that is used for, to, for the re representation of knowledge or information. And uh, why do icons actually work? We humans, we are visual beings. That means we can comprehend information much faster when it comes um, in a visual form compared to abstract forms like numbers or written words. And that is also the reason that uh, why icons actually help you to make navigating your Notion workspace much easier and faster. For example, when you use an icon for a page or a database, it's much easier for you to recognize uh, the purpose of that page or database because you can comprehend that information much faster. In the beginning of Notion, actually, uh, it didn't support native icons but Notion supported emojis. Emojis are pretty similar to icons and they work more or less the same way. So today they are essential for digital communication. But in a professional setting, sometimes emojis um, yes, can look a bit childish. So at that time when Notion didn't support native icons, a lot of people actually started to integrate icons from external sites, from external websites into Notion that is that was possible and is still possible by simply uploading the icon or linking to an image from an external site inside of Notion. But one year ago, Notion started to offer an icon library. And now you can choose among hundreds of icons and even can select among 10 different colors. So now let's move to Notion. I will show you how to upload icons to pages or databases. So how do we add icons in Notion? On a page, we go to add an icon. It's above the title of the page and we click here. Now an emoji appears, but we want to remove it or replace it with an icon. So we click not on emojis, but on icons. One more thing, you can upload custom icons here. You only, you simply paste the link here, then submit or you upload a file. The recommended size for an icon is 280 times 280 pixels. So let's go back to icons. And here you see a list of icons that are yeah native to Notion. So let's use one of the icons we have here that are the recently used icons. So if you use some icons uh, regularly, they will appear in the recent menu here. So you don't need to scroll down all the time to find them again. Let's click on that chart symbol. Now we can also choose among 10 colors. Uh, in that case, we will choose the green color. And boom, the icon appears on the page. You can also add an icon to a database in Notion. How to do that? Well, for that, we open the database as a page. We do it here in the side menu. Uh, not turn into page, but open as a page. And here we add again an icon like we've done before. Let's choose something different, maybe the apple here. And we want to have a red apple. So let's go back to our page and you see that the red apple is appearing as the icon of our icon database. But it doesn't stop here. You can also add icons to database views and to properties. So how to do that? Well, for database views, we click on the three dots here. Here you see that field here. You can actually edit the title of your view, but we don't want to do that now. We want to change the icon and for that we click on that button here. So the icon menu is appearing. We again click on any of those icons. Let's say maybe that arrow and yeah, the icon is appearing again. We can do the same with database properties. So let's click on this property. And again, here you can change the title of the property and on the left side, 
you have the option to change the icon. So let's change it to that arrow here. And that's how you can add icons in Notion. Despite the many Notion, uh, native Notion icons, a lot of users actually still prefer to use icons from external sites. Why do they do that? Well, first, they have a much larger choice. They can choose among thousands of different icons and can even customize the icons. Uh, second, uh, yeah, they can use more colors. Notion only supports 10 colors with the icons, but from external sites, in theory, you could use any color in the world. So on which websites can you actually find those icons? Well, let's have a look at some of the most popular of them. Notion.vip. This site offers icons for both the light and dark modes of Notion. To use the icons, you simply need to click on the desired icon and the link to the icon will be automatically saved to your clipboard. Icons8.de. This site offers icons, graphics, photos, music and much more. This includes also a dedicated set for Notion. Here too, the icons are saved to the clickport with a click on the symbol. Super.so. That's the web builder for Notion. And Super also offers simple icons that harmonize well within Notion's aesthetics. Notioniconsso This site has over 8,400 icons. A feature I particularly like is the hex color selection, which allows me to choose any web color for my icons. You see, using external icons in Notion is pretty easy, but there's one small catch. So, you know, when you upload an icon, it's not uploaded into a gallery. So the next time you want to use that icon again, yeah, you will have a hard time finding it again if you haven't bookmarked it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a small issue, but you can solve it, of course, in Notion. Uh, how you do that? Simply by creating a database and the database is your icon gallery. So, of course, you use the icon on a page that represents that icon, then you then you upload your icon here and you insert the link to that icon. The next time you want to use that icon, you only copy that link and then paste that link into the Notion page or database where you want to embed that icon. And that's how you use icons in Notion. If you're interested in getting weekly tips about Notion, please subscribe to that channel. You can also check out my course on Skillshare. In that course, I'm showing you Notion's fundamentals why we are actually building a habit tracker in Notion. And that is everything from my side. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao.